Hey girls, so this is a game called Alice is Dead. It's about Alice in Wonderland, it's cool. Um, I'm just gonna do like a run through of the game, I guess. Uh, you can do the instructions if you want, but I've played this game twice now, so I'm pretty well down pat on how to play it. So we're just gonna go straight into it, press play. What I like about this game, well, I'm gonna let you see this. This is your thoughts on screen right now. So you're like, what the fuck? Okay, so now you're here and you're like, what the fuck? So you can click these hearts. These are the directions you can go. You can look up. Um, and you can go on the right and on the left. Um, you can click a lot of the games. This is a puzzle game, so you have to solve a lot of puzzles. So you can click on stuff, like this door. And then you can try and open it. But no matter how hard you push or pull, the doors won't open. So you go back. Um, this is Alice. Uh, what I like about this game is there are a lot of uh, witty things, like Alice forgot to put on makeup, and Alice doesn't smile as much as she used to. But what you can do is, there are items you can pick up, like there's this bottle, you can pick up this uh, bone that's in her leg, and there's this note that says kill the rabbit. You can't. What you can do is you can pick these things and try to com combine them, but you can't really combine these. So first you're obviously going to try and stick the bone in the door, but that doesn't work, so we're going to go around and look for more stuff. You'll find that there's a card here, you'll be needing that later on, so you better click that. Um, I tried to get this green stuff, liquid, into this bottle, but it doesn't work. Uh, you can click here, there's a spider, and if you keep clicking the spider, it's like, this must be home, or you try to hit it with a note. Ew, no, it might call on the paper. Uh, you could hit it, but if you miss, even if it could fit, I don't think spiders gamble. Um, and then, I don't know if you can hear it, but the music gets louder in this part. And so what you can do is you can snap the stick off the shovel. A big stick, nice. You can take this rock. Uh, and you can try to open this chest, but it doesn't open. So you're like, what the frick, man? So, how I told you, you can combine stuff. There's the rock. And you can sharpen this bone. And then you can use it over here. I don't know if you can use it there. Okay, you can't use it here. You can use it over here. Have a, um, on this door. And you just pick the lock. And then th this door doesn't open, even if you try to pick, pick it. And so you go back here, and then now the chest is open. So you just go inside. Once again, directional heart thing. And then here's the pool of acid, which you can use the drinking bottle for, and to fill, up, fill it up with acid. And there's another door, and you're like, ooh, door, but it won't open. You click this, this is a key card scanner. You can use the card that you picked up earlier. And you can scan it, and now the lights turn green. But the door still won't open, so you're like, WTF. So you look around, and there's the caterpillar in the movie. It's called Absalom, but I think it's just a caterpillar. So hi, caterpillar. So what you need is to get past this web. So you can try and cut it, but it doesn't work. Uh, but what you need to do is use acid on the web, and it disintegrates. And now you can take care of the caterpillar. The caterpillar won't let you pass. You try to stab. You can try to stab it and stuff, but it doesn't work. What will work is you take the stick and you cover it with this tree sap, which is up here. Uh, so you cover it with the tree sap, and you mix this shard of glass with the, with the tree sap and the stick. So now you've made a spear, and then you stab him, which is really violent. But you stab it. Stab. He's dead. Um, so once you've stabbed him, you've picked up his magical lens, you can pick up his bell, and you can pick up his key. So you go over here, and you need to open the door, so what you will do is use the key, obviously. And just click it. And so now you're at the suitcase, and you have to find the combination to open it. Um, but that's not here. And what you need to do is you need to go all the way back to the beginning. And back to Alice. Uh, and you need to use that lens that you picked up. Well, you need to pick it up. The game automatically picks it up for you from the uh, from Absalom, the, sp the spider, the caterpillar. And then you'll find all these hidden messages, like "I'm hungry," "Die, die," "Kill the rabbit," "Just open," "Why, uh, why won't it open?" "Why, why miss home?" "Rabbit, help me." There's a lot of like this stuff. And then here's number eight. And it's circled, which means it's the first number of the code. And there's an arrow pointing to the way that you should go, so you're going to click this way. And then you're going to keep looking, but it's over here. Two. And then, so you click over here. And then there's one inside this little here. This little here, that doesn't make sense. But yeah.
So now you go over here, but there's another one. Um, is this oh yeah, it's right here. On the tree that you also need to find. And then there's one. Where is that one? There's one over here somewhere. There are two here, I think. If memory serves me right. There's one here, and there's one there. And that's all the numbers, so you write that down, and you go back into the chest. And then you go back to the suitcase, and you put in the uh, numbers. I like how the music stops when you start clicking, which is good, because the music gets kind of annoying after a while. Uh, I didn't bother to write down the numbers, because I already had them written down. Uh, two, one, three. Dun dun dun, you've opened it, you won for now. And then you see the mirror, Alice's mirror, her looking glass. They just put briefcase wrong. Dun dun dun! And then it's to be continued, and that's the end of the first chapter. There are more chapters to this game. There are two more. And I'll probably play them maybe next week. But, uh, yeah. Vlog of this week is, um, Final Cut Chris. It's Tracy. She's cool. She's awesome. She's like Harry Potter and Glee. And all that good stuff that, you know, you got, you know, you all know I like. So, uh, yeah.